According to Oregon law, children under 10 years old cannot be left alone unsupervised for any period of time or in any location that could be dangerous to them. Leaving a child under 10 alone could result in a charge of child neglect in the second degree for the guardian. This is due to Oregon Statute 163545. Fairly recent law. Another report, uh, this newspaper report. At what age can kids be left home alone in Oregon? Oregon state law. Not under age 10. All right. Now, I'm talking about this because uh, for my family, primarily, I started a few months ago working on some memoirs, starting with my childhood. So here's my seventh grade birthday party. My buddies, that's my brother there. My friends. And we're on the neighbor's go-kart. And the reason it's not moving is because we ran out of gas and they wouldn't let us have any more gas. But we had uh, taken turns, uh, ridden that go-kart go all over the, on the streets, uh, all over the place. Because that's what seven-year-old kids do. Some of them were six, not yet turned seven. And of course, we're totally unsupervised when, as soon as we're out of sight, brrr, loud, noisy go-kart. They're fun and scary, yeah. But uh, that's what we did, because we're kids. And then the parents were aware, and we were off and running. So that's age seven. Just turned seven. That's me. I happen to be bent over there. We were laughing pretty hard, having a great time. So then I'm eight years old, joined the Cub Scouts. I guess it's just Scouts now. I'm in third grade. That's me, Cub Scouts USA. I don't remember what all the accoutrements are. Let's see, I must have been, what is that, wolf? You go through different uh, things. What, why I uh, did here, I uh, went alone, because all the boys went alone. We had, uh, we're given maps of our areas, and we were to go out and sell benefit dinner tickets to raise money for our pack so we can do stuff. And uh, I knocked on 1,500 doors. Seems to me it was more than a month, every night. I even got out of going to church on Sunday evening, every evening and all day Saturday. Uh, I went and knocked on doors Cute little Cub Scout trying to sell benefit dinner tickets. But totally unsupervised. My parents didn't go with me. They're busy. And, uh, yeah, there were some incidents. But uh, that's what we did. So... So here I am, a year later, age nine. That's me. It's my brother. We're on bicycles. These are our cousins. We had three girl cousins, about our same age. And uh, I, this is the only picture that I could find, but I we rode bicycles literally all over town as far as we could pedal. 
we were not supervised. And if we traveled, we rode bicycles all over whatever town we were traveling in, including Tulsa, Oklahoma. I think that's where this is, Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's where my cousins lived. That's not our place or our car. And we just had a blast. We were kids. So age seven, riding go-karts all over. Age eight, walking all over. Age nine, riding bicycles all over. But uh, this would be a crime for our parents to let us do that now. But most, I won't say all, but most parents were guilty of this uh, back in the 19... This is the early, middle 1960s. You know, 63, 64, 65. And uh, see, my brother's wearing sunglasses because sunglasses are cool. And my brother's younger than me. He started delivering newspapers when he was 10. I had just turned 12. And uh, you had to be 12 to have a newspaper route. Well, my brother... 10 and I divvied up the route and so at 4 30 a.m. we're out delivering newspapers and at 4 30 p.m. twice a day morning and afternoon newspapers back then and my brother he was the real go-getter uh, he made notes when we, we'd walk around delivering papers and if there was a lawn that needed mowed or debris needed cleaning up, he'd go back, knock on a door, ask if uh, they wanted their lawn mowed for whatever fee charged at the time. Might be 75 cents. That's a lot. Probably less than that back then. Probably 50 or 35 cents. Anyway, we're, again... There's no adults walking around with us at 4.30 a.m. We just delivered newspapers, and yep, time to time there are incidents. Uh, probably another time I'll tell some of those incidents. Um, and that's probably why, you know, people uh, ended up enacting this law in Oregon and I don't know how many other states are considering doing the same thing. We, uh, children were unsupervised most of our lives. So, of course, we relied on parents of things like purchasing our bicycles. Although my brother, he was eager to make money so that he could buy his own stuff like sunglasses. Mom and Dad wouldn't buy him sunglasses. He had to make money for his own sunglasses. And for his own haircuts, because otherwise Mom or Dad uh, cut a hair and he did, you know, basically bowl haircuts. So we did have fun. <laughs>